Alright, what's up guys? So, as you can see on the screen right now, the Dokkan Fest Viz Super Saiyan Kid Trunks and Super Saiyan Kid Goten and the new tech Krillin are both going to be dropping on Global in less than 13 hours from now. And while they're both amazing units, in today's video, I actually want to direct your attention to three Extreme Z Awakenings that are coming at the exact same time that uh, might not be on some people's radars, but they definitely should be because they are absolutely amazing. And the Extreme Z Awakenings I'm talking about, of course, are for the AGL Kid Goten, the Fizz Kid Trunks, and the STR Android 18. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we'll quickly go over the details for their Extreme Z battle event first before we get into each uh, individual unit's details. Alright, so uh, here's the Extreme Z battle event. It is all three units in one event, and we get the Extreme Z Awakening medals for all of them for uh, you know each level. And the weakness is the artificial life forms category, just like for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And as you can see, going through the levels, we are facing Android 18 first. We're getting medals for all three, some orbs, and also one stone for each stage. And then after level three, there's an additional damage reduction of 50% against super types. So ideally, you are running a full extreme type. If you're doing artificial life forms, then uh, pretty much the entire category, or at least like most of the category, is going to be extreme types. So you're good there. And then as we go along, we're getting more medals, still facing Android 18. And then there's a Dokkan Awaken form, some more STR orbs. And after level 9, as always, SSR or lower rarity characters can only cause less than 2 million damage. And then after level 10, we're switching over to the Go 10. And from level 12 and beyond, there's additional damage reduction of 60% against int types and also all super types. So, of course, don't bring any int types if you can. And then we switch over to the Trunks after level 15. And from level 20 and beyond, there's additional damage reduction of 70% against int, fizz, and super types. And I think that is pretty much going to be it for the rest of the event. So, after level 20, we are fighting both Go 10 and Trunks. And then after level 25, we're facing O10 Trunks and 18. And uh, of course, keep in mind, you don't want to bring it types, his types, and all super type units because they're basically just not going to be doing any kind of real damage. And um, of course, bring as many artificial life forms as you can as well. And that's pretty much it, guys. Pretty standard Extreme Z Awakening aside from that, or Extreme Z Battle event aside from that. We're getting all three types of orbs, STR, Fizz, and AGL. We're getting some Rankai's of all three types, and of course, all the Extreme Z Awakening medals we need to fully Extreme Z Awaken all three of these units. And once it's all said and done, we have the Extreme Z Awakening medals. We have a good amount of uh, Fizz, AGL, and STR orbs, and also four of each Rankai, and 30 Dragon Stones. And of course, we also have some missions here. So we get one stone each, for, um, I think, yeah, one for each of the characters, right? So, all new missions can be completed, yeah, three times, once for each character. So, in total, when you fully extreme Z Awaken, all three of them, that's going to be nine Dragon Stones, three uh, Platinum Tur- not, not Turtle Shells, Platinum Hercule Statues, and also three Elder Kai's. So, some pretty good rewards, almost 40 stones overall from this event. Now, let's move on to the, uh, you know, actual units now. And we're starting here with the AGL Goten. So as always with Extreme Z Awakening videos, we're gonna go over their pre-Easy A details and then go over the Extreme Z Awakening details to compare the two. Okay, so starting with Goten before the Easy A, leader skill is AGL type to keep plus two, HP and defense plus 70%, super attack, supreme damage and raises attack for three turns. And passive is attack plus 90% at the start of the turn. And his max stats, when rainbowed, are 13,621 HP, 12,764 attack, and 10,344 defense. Okay, now, with the Extreme Z Awakening, Leader Skill becomes AGL types, E plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%, Super 
super attack, supreme damage, and raises attack and defense for 6 turns. And passive is attack and defense plus 100% at the start of the turn plus an additional attack plus 100% when performing a super attack. Chance of performing a critical hit plus 18%, reduces damage received by 18%, and all allies attack and defense plus 18%. When there's an ally whose name includes Trunks Kid attacking on the same turn or when Krillin or Android 18 are on the same team. Just one of them, you don't have to have both. But uh, of course, most of the time, you will probably want to run him with a Kid Trunks because they do link well and uh, they also play off each other really well, just like the uh, other pairing, um, the Int and Tech, Kid Trunks and, and Goten. Like, they work really well with each other, right? So you do want to have them together probably most of the time. But, um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention, of course, is the additional attack plus 100% is calculated separately. So when all conditions are met, he's actually getting a maximum possible attack boost of 336%. Okay, and of course, his defense is nothing to scoff at either, man. He's going to get a lot of defense because he's starting with 100% here. He's getting 18% more here. He's getting 18% damage reduction, and he's also raising attack and defense for 6 turns, which means it can be stacked pretty much... Um, I guess in theory at least like four times, right? So let's say you double super on the first turn, double super. No, you can and theoretically you can stack it six times. So it's not gonna happen a lot unless you get a lot of additionals, but it can be stacked multiple times. And uh, each time it is a 30% boost. Or no, it's a 50% boost. My bad. It's a 50% boost. So yeah, this kid can get really tanky. This kid can get really really tanky. He's got a little bit of support. He's got some extra crit chance, and he's also getting a ton of attack. And of course, his stats get much better too. With the Extreme Z Awakening, he gets 16,664 HP, 15,383 attack, and 12,011 defense. 12,011 defense. That's also a ton of defense. So, needless to say, um, just a fantastic EZA, man. Just so, so good. And uh, if you guys manage to get the, you know, Dokkan, Fats, Goten, and Trunks, like this kid and the Trunks on the same team too, it just, it's just such an amazing team. It really is. So uh, moving on from the Goten, we're going to talk about the Trunks, who is actually very similar. So before the EZA, leader skill is phase types, key plus 2, HP and defense, plus 70%, super attack, supreme damage, and raises attack for 3 turns. Passive is attack plus 100% when performing a super attack. And then stats are 15,064 defense, or sorry, HP, 12,654 attack, and 9,361 defense. Now with the Extreme Z Awakening, leader skill becomes his type ski plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack supreme damage, and raises attack and defense for 6 turns, just like Goten. And then passive is attack and defense plus 100% at the start at the start of the turn plus an additional attack plus 100% when performing a super attack. Chance of performing a critical hit plus 18% reduces damage received by 18% and all allies. Attack and defense plus 18% when there's an ally whose name includes Goten Kid attacking in the same turn or when Krillin or Android 18 is on the team. So literally exact same passive as Goten as well, except uh, you know you need Goten on rotation as opposed to trunks right and for his stats he gets 18,324 HP 15,236 attack and 10,967 defense now you will notice that his defense is actually significantly lower than Goten's he has a lot more HP but I think Goten is objectively the better unit just because he has almost the same attack stat right it's very close actually it has slightly higher Slightly higher attack stat, way higher defense. The only advantage Trunks has is HP, which like matters, but it's really not nearly as important as the other two stats. So, um, yeah, no, they're both excellent, but Goten definitely has a pretty big edge, in my opinion. And uh, just like Goten, he gets up to 336% attack boost on his passive when all conditions are met, because the additional 100% is calculated separately. Okay, now, lastly, you guys know this one's the one I'm the most excited for. 
um for obvious reasons it's android 18 it's an android 18 getting an extreme z awakening i mean come on it's hype <laughs> it's hype leader skill before the EZA, of course before EZA. leader skill str and fist types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 30 percent super attack supreme damage and raises attack for six turns and then passive is attack plus 50 percent at the start of the turn plus an additional attack and defense plus 50 percent when hp is 50 percent or above and uh links are oh forget the links never mind stats 13,868 hp 13,733 attack and 9,284 defense i'm just checking if you guys are wondering why i keep looking to the side looks like my audio levels are a little bit weird hopefully it still sounds good to you but it's just like not how it normally looks anyways um moving on to the extreme z awakening leader skill is str and fizz types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 90 percent super attack supreme damage and raises attack and defense for six turns and passive is attack and defense plus 100 percent at the start of the turn plus an additional attack plus 100 percent when performing a super attack chance of performing a critical hit plus 18 percent reduces damage received by 18 percent and all allies key plus three and attack and defense plus 30 percent but there's an ally whose name includes Trunks Kid, Goten Kid, or Krillin on the team. And her stats go up to 16,859 HP, 16,544 attack, and 10,864 defense. And her additional 100% attack is also, of course, calculated separately for a total boost of 360%. 360% attack boost when all conditions are met so he's also going to be a monster um <laughs> i just can't wait for all three of these man i cannot wait for all three of these i'm almost more excited about these three extreme sea awakenings if i'm being completely honest than the dokkan fest because these three are guaranteed like i'm gonna get them no matter what because i have all three rainbowed i'm ready to go uh, the Goten Trunks, you know, Dokkan Fest is not guaranteed. I could get very, sh very shafted, right? So, um, I'm not even gonna get myself, like, too hyped for that yet until I get them. But, like, these ones, I'm gonna get for sure. And, uh... I'm stoked, guys. I'm really stoked for these three. I mean, as I said, I think it's gonna be a little bit low-key to some people because they just don't care as much about these side, like, non-Dokkan Fest EZAs, but you really, really should. You really should care. You should not sleep on these EZAs, man, because they are so damn good. So, yeah, that is uh, pretty much today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope the audio levels are fine because I feel like my settings are the same, but, like, it just doesn't look the same to me. I don't know. I'll write about it later. Um, you guys can tell me if things sound weird, but for now, that's all I gotta say, man. The event drops tonight with the banner, artificial life forms, uh, 39 stones in total up for grabs, and, uh, of course, cooler EZA coming to JP soon. That's gonna be exciting, but global well, players don't have to really worry about that for, for a while. And, uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You know what? I'm gonna leave it on my girl Android 18, just cause, uh, just cause because there we go thank you guys for watching i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out